Mount Hermansburg, Fink River 1948 is a majestic portrayal of the artist's traditional homeland, the country of Western Arunda in Central Australia. With its sweeping mountain range rendered in purple hues and rising out of the deep red of the desert earth, Mount Hermansburg can appear as a fitting metaphor for Namanjira, his imposing physical presence and larger than life personality. At the height of his career, Namajira was the most renowned Aboriginal artist in his lifetime and for decades after his death, although he was often dismissed by the modernist art establishment. He was arguably the first Indigenous person to be considered an artist by non-Indigenous Australians. Albert Namanjira was born with the traditional Western Arunda name Elia at the Lutheran Mission at Antaria, Hermansburg in the Northern Territory. His first artistic forays were the decorations of boomerangs, spear throwers and mulga wood plaques with images of everyday scenes, flora and fauna and Christian themes either in paintwork or poker work. Meanwhile he worked as a blacksmith, carpenter, stockman and camelier at the mission. It is well documented that Namanjira learned the technical skills of painting watercolours on paper in 1936 while working as a camel boy for non-Indigenous watercolourist Rex Batterby on one of his painting expeditions to Palm Valley in Central Australia. Namachira had painted his first work in 1935 but had no tutoring until he went on this eight-week trip. These were the only lessons Namachira ever had, though he did go on further painting trips. Batterby was impressed by Namajira's painting skills. The following year, an exhibition featuring their paintings was an outstanding success and Namajira's first solo show took place in 1938. When in 1939 the Art Gallery of South Australia acquired Namajira's Illumbora, Hast's Bluff, 1939, the watercolour became the first Indigenous work of art to be acquired by a public Australian art gallery as opposed to an ethnographic museum. Albert Namanjira became renowned for his panoramic images. He often framed his landscapes with an iconic gum tree placed on either side of the composition to produce the shallow space leading the eye to the scene beyond. However, he also positioned himself for close encounters. This can be seen in Love's Creek, McDonnell Ranges, 1948, also known as Love's Creek South, which is a rare instance of a work painted in Eastern Aranda country. It is also the case for Gumtree and Sandhill, circa 1938, which is an example of another less known aspect of Namanjira's work. Paintings where the trees themselves are the main subjects. The artist appears to invest these images with symbols of the human condition. Trunks become torsos, branches arms. Bark functions for a tree in much the same way as skin does for a human being. The rise of Namanjira's popularity and collectability was rapid, but not without consequence. He was seen as a prime example of the success of the assimilation policy and was granted Australian citizenship in 1957. Tragically, this was the beginning of the end for Namanjira. As a citizen, he was able to buy and consume alcohol under Australian law. But when he shared this with his kin in the traditional obligation and exchange system of Arunda law, Namajira was imprisoned in open detention for three months at the Papunya settlement. An ongoing lack of understanding of Aboriginal culture by the authorities led to this demise until his death in 1959. Without doubt the most famous Aboriginal person in his lifetime, Namajira was a prolific artist. Through his paintings he brought Central Australia, and particularly the country of Western Arunda, to a largely eastern seaboard based Australian population that had little contact with or knowledge of Indigenous art practice outside ethnographic representation in natural history museums. The extent of Namanjira's watercolours, whether resplendent or evanescent, challenged non-Indigenous people's misconceptions of a lifeless inland desert by depicting the flora and ancient geography in an ever-changing palette of tone and light. In 2002, the centenary of the artist's birth, the Australian Senate paid tribute to Albert Namanjira as a national treasure, and the National Gallery of Australia toured a major exhibition which reassessed his work. Today, a fourth generation of Central Australian Indigenous artists continues Namajira's traditions, painting not only in watercolour on paper, but also on ceramic pots and tiles and in acrylic on canvas.